Hello guys, welcome to the first part for this project. In this lesson, we will set up our environment for the project. Alright, so what do we need to get started? All what you need is, you have to make sure you installed Node and you have your text editor. For this lesson, I'm going to use VS Code and Postman. Okay, so for the sake of some people who are not familiar with the main stack project, I will make sure I explain every bit of code that I write. Okay, so if you think that I'm very slow, you can speed me up, but I would advise you you should stick around so that we can get most of this project. All right, so without much talking, let's get started. I have my terminal being open, and first, I have to create my project folder. So I'll make use of mkdir. You can use a manual setup, but I prefer to use the terminal. mkdir means that create a repository, create a folder. Okay, and I'll, I'll name this one bookkeeping app. And I hit enter, and cd means change to folder and the folder i'm going to change to is bookkeeping app okay hit enter clear to clear my console and i will make sure i'll make use of code dot this one opens my text editor so like i said you can do manually you can open your text editor and then create your folder in but i prefer terminal all right so when i hit enter i have my text editor being open here nice clean sheet so before that let me make sure i arrange my files well okay let me make it a little bit bigger so that you can see the code i'm writing clearly so what next since it's a main stack i'm going to create two folders so i can come here and make it like this i can create like this one first folder is called back end okay hit enter and the next one is front end and hit enter okay so now that i have it make sure you are in your home directory of your bookkeeping app and first step when creating a node application is initialize your npm package so npm init okay so I'm not gonna can give it a white flag to have a default configuration. I want to walk you through some steps. So npm init means that initialize your project as npm. Okay, hit enter. And the first question here is that package name. The package name is the folder that this project is going to be housed. By default, there's been taking the name of the folder that we created okay um when we are using terminal right so the next is i don't want to change it so by default i'll hit enter and the version is 1.0.0 you can change it to make it two point whatever you want but i prefer to use the default version hit enter and description let's say that um book keeping app whatever description project is about. And the entry point is um, the file um, your node application is going to run at the start. By default, it gives us index.js. By convention, this is, not, this, this is not a mask, so you can make use of any file that you want. By convention, we normally use index.js or server.js or app dot js so i prefer to use server.js so i will override this configuration server and the test command hit enter and then git repository enter and the keywords and the author here you can write your full name and then hit enter the line says i like to use mit hit enter ask you is this okay yes why not okay so now that I have this one, you see I have an additional file called package.json file. Okay, so what is package.json file? As the name implies, 
is going to manage all the packages you are going to use for this project. Okay, so we're going to use external package from NPM to manage or to develop application. So all the packages that we install will be added into this package.json file. And also, we have a script tag. As you can see, the configuration we used when we were setting up our projects is we can also write them here. Okay, so this script tag is what we are going to use to run our application. Okay, and the other properties will be added as we proceed on. So take package.json file is what is a way of managing your packages and running your projects and running other some script and testing file as well. Okay, so now that we have initialized our application as npm package, as npm in it, so the next is we are going to make use of Express to create our server. So let me clear my console like that and then make use of John add Express. So we can make use of npm i express, but I prefer to use yarn. So I'll hit enter and while it is installing express into my application, we have additional properties inside our package registration file as dependencies. So as them implies, dependencies means that what our application depends on. So first, it depends on express. Okay, so now that we have installed Express, now let's go to our project and let me get ignore the node node module. Okay, and I don't want to initialize or push this one to GitHub. Okay, like so. So next is I'm going to create my file to start creating my first server. So inside my back end, I'll create server.js. Okay, so let me require the package that I install as express. So const express is equal to require express. Okay. And next is since express is a function, right? And this is we are creating an instance of express to create our server. So we can call this express and assign to a variable. So normally we make use of const app is equal to express like so. So if you remember back to Vanilla JavaScript as how function is. Functions are always first class citizen, meaning that we can pass a function to a function, we can assign a variable to a function, so we can do whatever we want with the function. So in this case, we are creating an instance of Express and assigning all the functionalities that Express has into our express our app variable so we can even ignore this and then just call express call it and then tap in all the functionality that we want from express package okay so to make our life simple we are going to assign a variable to express as app so now when you console log app you can see that we have all the methods and the properties from Express assigned to this variable. So let's test. Let's test it how it works. Okay. So let me go to my terminal and run my this file. So here, let me just console.log. Let me say console.log app. Okay. So let me go to terminal and then just run. This is how you run a file in Node. The node keyword, okay, and then the file, and the file is inside our back end folder. So I have to move up, I will say that back end slash server dot js. Hit enter. As you can see, this this app 
that we created the instance of app of expert we created we see that we have all the functions that we can tap in that we can use in our application okay so back to our project now that we have all the methods that experts have given us what we are going to do is that we are going to create our server using express so this is how we make use of it app and dot and you have all the functions properties that you can make use for now what you are going to use is called listen okay and this listen takes in two arguments a function the first one is a port the next one is a function okay so this port let me use of 5000 and then a function to run and then it makes error function we can make use of normal um, function but I prefer to use error function so what I want to do is I make use of console.log and then just temporal string and say that server is up and running like so so when I go to my terminal let me clear my console and then I will say node backend server I can see server is up and running so what this port are about this port is what we are going to access in our url to be able to access our server by default as soon as we create a server we have what is called url called local host because it's a local host because our server is running locally on our machine so for this port for example when you deploy your application to Heroku maybe this port will be used by other applications to, so to make it versatile what we what we normally do is that we create a variable called port and we say that if process dot env okay dot port if you have it this is what you use when you're deploying to Heroku when you have that one use it but if you don't then make use of 5000 so instead of this hard-coded port I'll make use of my variable that I declared above so I can even add the port name here and say that and then inject my port variable like so so this have no change what we are doing but the, this line of code what it's doing is that in case we deploy application to Heroku all right or any deployment platform and if this port is used by the application the application will crash will not run so you're making use of the environment variable in node for example in Heroku or AWS if we deploy this application so when you make changes since you make changes to our server we have to cancel and then restart our application and we see server is up and running on port on 5000 when I change this one to 00, zero right and then cancel it and then run it our server is running on port 0 that is crazy you know so I prefer to make it 5000 so guys so this is how we create a server in Express I don't want to make this video long the next lesson we start creating our route and